Who is here on Pettis? Dorothy Pettis? Ms. Pettis, if you come forward. Uh, probation, this is an application. Did I have a prosecutor? Court is calling 2023 CR 0941, State of Texas versus Dorothy Pettis. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Andrew Harris, Salem. Defense? Patrick Wallace. And are you Ms. Pettis? Yes. Counsel, have you received all of the discovery? I have, Your Honor. Did you review it with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Pettis, did you review the document entitled Application for Deferred Adjudication or Community Supervision with your attorney? Yes. And did you sign it? Yes. Did you review the true bill of indictment with your attorney? Yes. Did you understand it? Yes. Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? I do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Pettis, did you review the document entitled Court Admonishments with your attorney? Yes. Did you understand it? Yes. Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes. Did you understand you're charged with possession of yes. a controlled substance, penalty group one, less than one gram? Yes. That's a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes. Did you understand by entering this plea you were giving up those rights? Yes. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes. You understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty and sentence you up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? She has, Your Honor. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? I do. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? I do, Your Honor. Ms. Pettis, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? No. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, I am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Did you review the plea bargain page with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. According to the plea, there's a $1,500 fine. State recommends deferred adjudication, and there is to be restitution to SAPD for drug testing. Did you understand that to be yes, the plea? I do. Defense, is that the plea? It is, Your Honor. State, is that the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Did you review the waiver of appeal paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it in both places? Yes. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes. Counsel, have any such motions? No, Your Honor. Outside the agreement, the state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of two years. There be a TAP evaluation and 150 hours of community service restitution. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State, any evidence? We have no objections, Your Honor. All right, state, you may be excused. Did you, you're welcome. Did you review the document entitled Waiver and Consent to Stipulation of Testimony and Stipulations with your attorney? Yes. Did you understand it and sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Yes. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses, statements, and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes. Court will find that the defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments. The court has reviewed the same. The court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, we just uh, hope that you follow the plea bargain agreement. As for the fine, I know there's a $1,500 fine. My client doesn't have much income. She's planning on living at Haven for Hope after she's released from jail. So we'd ask that the court...
probate the fine, or part of the fine, or the fine entirely. All right. Do you have any children? Yes, I have five. And what are their ages? One's eight, 19, uh, my youngest. She's he just turned a year. Okay, 19, one year. What else? And then 14. Mm hmm. And then nine, and then my son, he's about ready to be four. Okay. And who keeps them? Uh, my dad in Washington State, and then CPS. Okay. So, uh, which children or what ages of the children does your father in Washington have? Um, the 19, the 14, and then the nine. All right. Oh, and just out of curiosity for me, is he planning on taking the one in four year old or no? No. So what is going to happen with the one in four? Uh, the one in four year old, my cousin Corley is going to take. Who? My cousin Corley. All right. Has your have your parental rights been terminated to the one in four year old? Not yet. All right. Who's your CPS attorney? I. Don't remember his name quite yet. I'll be getting it once I get out. Well, how long has the CPS case been open? It's been open for like six months, eight months now. All right. Do you have a year to get your act together? Mm -hmm. You uh, should know the name of your attorney because that's very important because it's involving your children. Yes. So where is your support system? Where is your mom, your other My family? My mom, she's in Missouri. She's not at a medical conditions. And then my dad, same thing. All right. So and who is uh, Dwayne Garcia? Uh, Dwayne Garcia, he's one of my favorite street uncles. Street uncle? Yeah. What does that mean? I've known him for years. No, but I mean, if he's known him for years, why is he just not a friend? What does that mean he's a street uncle? My family hasn't met him yet. Out of, from their medical condition, it's been hard for them to meet him. No, but I mean, why is he a street uncle? That's what I don't understand. Uh, he was taking care of me while, um, while I was homeless. How was he taking care of you? He would, when I would ask for help, he'll give me the help. Like what type of help? Food, anything. But I mean, you both were caught with drugs. So he's probably not a good person for you to be around. No. Was there anything else going on between you? No. What was he expecting in return? Nothing. Because what I've discovered, normally in the situation that you're in, yes, you may end up meeting great people who are just there to help you. But from looking at what I'm reading in the police report, he's just not helping you out of the kindness of his heart. No. So he's not, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes, he is not helping you out of the kindness of his heart? No. All right. So you're going to have to make a decision on how you want your life to be. Mm -hmm. And either you're going to stop having children and just do whatever you want to do. But if you're going to continue to have children, then you've got to get your life together because otherwise your children are being raised by people. You just, here you go. Yeah. And now the one in four year old, they're not even with their siblings. And how do they feel? They've been left behind and somebody else has them. Yeah. True. All right. This is what the court is going to do. I'm going to recall the warrant. Sentence you to three years deferred adjudication. There should be a TAP evaluation in custody. Follow recommendations. I'm going to want a referral to Esperanza Court. And that's a program that you really should be in. You understand? Yes. And there's to be no contact with your street uncle. And that's Dwayne Garcia. Uh, it's D-W-A-Y-N-E. And I'm not going to interfere with your CPS case. But I'm looking at your ancestry and it says American Indian, Indian or Native Alaskan. Mm -hmm. You need to let your attorney know that. Okay. Because that's very important on CPS side. Okay. Uh, there's going to be CPS compliance. 
uh, 150 hours community service restitution. How far did you go in school? 11. All right. I'm going to waive 100 hours of those um, for parenting classes that she completes. The other 50 hours will be waived once she obtains a GED or is in some type of trade school. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person, regular random UAs, proof of employment within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors, field visits one time per month for six months. And there's to be restitution, if any, to SAPD for testing. Council, if you feel as though they're asking for too much for the testing amount, you can always come back to the court and we'll have a restitution hearing. Sure. I right. think, I believe it's like $69. All right. Uh, probation, is there anything else she needs? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? No. Did you review the document entitled trial court certification of defendants rights to appeal with your attorney? Yes. Did you understand it and sign it? Yes. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All right, we can go off the record. You're going to have to make some decisions quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay. And that's going to have to be whether you want to be in your children's life or not. If you don't, just cut them loose because it's heartbreaking for children when they get their hopes built up that their parent is going to end up being a good parent mm -hmm. and everything is going fine in cps and i can tell you this because i've represented parents in cps before everything is going fine visitation is going fine next thing you know they end up with a street uncle or they end up with some guy and bring some random guy in their life and then bam children don't have them anymore that's trauma for a child you understand yes i do all right, so in this court, if you get transferred to Esperanza Court, that judge will be over conditions of probation. It's a very good program, and it's something that you need. you understand? Yes, I do. All right, if you feel as though they're not addressing issues, you can always come back here and see me. Okay. And counsel, I know it's not your job, but she doesn't know who her CPS attorney is. If you call over to CPS Court and take her name, give them her name or the name of her children, They'll be able to tell you who our, who our CPS attorney is. I'm happy to do it, Your Honor. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You too. Uh, Eric Kelly. Present, Judge. Daniel.